I don't want to talk about the letter. But just tell me, what happened when you got into the house? Okay, I didn't hear or see anything. I knocked at the door, but it's still quiet inside. But I know it was past eight o'clock. They must be up. So I knocked again. And I heard somebody say, come in. But, but I wasn't sure. I'm not sure yet. Then I opened the door. And there in the rocker sat Mrs. Wright. What was she doing? She was rocking back and forth. She had her apron in her hand. And it was kind of fill it. And how did she look? Well, she looked so weak. How did she seem feel about you coming? She didn't pay much attention. I was surprised. She didn't ask me to come up to the stove or to sit down. But just sat there, not even looking at me. So I said, I want to see John. And then she laughed. I guess you would call it love. And then I asked, see you again. And he hold. She says, yes, he's home. Then why can I see him? I asked her. Because he's dead. She said. Dead. She just nod her head. I ask again, why? Where is he? She just pointed upstairs. So I ask again and again, why? What did he die of? He died of a rope around his neck. She said. Well, I went out and called Harry and the team outside. I think I'd rather have you go into the upstairs and then just point it all out. Then now, just go on with the rest of your Well, my first talk was to get that the roof off. But Harry ordered me to better not touch anything. So, we went back downstairs. Who did this, Mrs. White? Said Harry. I don't know, she said. And then, Harry said, Somebody slip a rope around his neck and strain him and you didn't wake up. And then, Harry was going to ask her more question, but I said, maybe we ought to let her tell her story first to the coroner or to the sheriff. And then Harry went fast as he could to Weaver's place where there's a telephone. And what did Mrs. Wade do? When she had known you got gone to the coroner. She moved for the chair to the coroner. And she sat there with her hands held together and looking down. I got a feeling that I ought to make uh, some conversation. So I said, I have come to see if John wants to put it in a telephone. 
and 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 that she start to laugh and and then she stopped and she looked at me I was so scared I don't know maybe it wasn't scared soon Harry got back and then Dr. Lyon came and you Mr. Peters and so I guess that's all I know that you don't I guess we'll go upstairs first and then go out into the barn Are you sure you're convinced that there's nothing important here in the kitchen? Yeah, I think Well, that's fine, I guess You wanna go first? Yeah Okay, I'll go around I'll wait here first again Oh, for it, it freeze She wore it that when it turned so cold, she said that fire would go out and her just would break. Well, can you be the woman being held for murder, wearing butter freezer? And yet, for all their worries, what will you do without the ladies? The towels, not much housekeeping. That's a great deal of work to be done on farm. To be sure. And yet, there are some big sun farmhouse that don't have such old towel. A towel get dirty over quick. Men's hands are not as clean as they might be. Ah, a little sex I see. But you see, but you and Mr. White, we're close, aren't you? I've not seen much of her of late years. I've been not in this house. It's more than a year. And what was that? You didn't like her? I like her. Oh well, you know. Farmer wife have their hands full, Mr. Henderson. And uh, yes, uh, it never seemed a very cheerful place. No, it's not cheerful at all. I shouldn't say she had a homemaking instinct. Oh, well. I don't know as where it have either. You mean they didn't get on very well? No, I don't mean anything. But I don't think place be any cheerful for John, right? Being in it? I'd like to talk about that a little later. I want to get things done upstairs. You know, few little things. I would like to see what your take on this, Mrs. Peters, and keep an eye out for anything that may be used to. Yes, Mr. Arnold. I had to have men coming into my kitchen, snooping around and criticizing. Of course, it's no more than a duty. Dude, that's all right. But I guess the double decided that come out to make fire might have got a little of this on with I thought of that sooner seems mean to talk about her for not having things slick up when she had to come away in such a hurry she had bread set she was going to put this in there and it seemed about her fruit. I wonder if it's all gone. I think there's some beer too. And that's alright, Mr. Peter. And I remember the afternoon I put up my beer in the last summer. Oh uh, well, I must get those things from the front of the closet. My, it's cold in there. This is him. Oh, wait a second. I think right was close. Okay. I think 
maybe she kept so much to herself. She didn't belong to the ladies' aid. I suppose she felt she couldn't help apart. And then you don't enjoy them when you go savvy. She used to wear a pretty clothes and be lively when she was a mini poster. One of the town girls singing in the church, but that that was dirty years ago. This is all you take in? She said she wanted an apron. Anything to want. Uh, for there isn't much to get your attention. God bless you. She said, um, but, but I, I suppose to make her feel more natural. She said there was in the top drawer in this cupboard. Yes, here. And then her little shawl in that always hung behind the door. Yes, here is it. Mrs. Peters. Yes, Mrs. L. Everything. She did it? I, I don't know. Well, I don't think she did, but asking for an apron and her little soul worrying about her fruit. Um, Mr. Peter says it looks bad for her. Mr. Henderson is awfully sarcastic in his speech, and he'll make turn off her saying she didn't wake up. What? what? Well, I guess Mr. Frank didn't wait when they were sleeping. Mm -hmm. That rope under the neck. No, it's strange. It must have been that awful attack, and Still, they say it was such a funny way to kill a man, bringing an eel up like that. That's just what Mr. Hell said, right? There was a gun in the house. He said that's what you can't understand. Mr. Anderson said, come on. That was needed for the kiss. Was a magic, something to show anger or such feeling. Well, I don't see any sign of anger in here. But it's what to hear. Wonder how they are finding things upstairs. I hope she had a little more red up and. And um, you know, that seems of kind of sneaking. Look, looking her up in the town, and then coming out and trying to get her own house to turn against her. Mrs. Hailey, the law is the law. That's supposed to, but. Peter, listen up your thing, Mrs. Peters. You don't feel them when you go out, right? She was missing a kill. It's luck having parents. Pretty, isn't it? I want to see if she was going to quilt or just not it. I wonder if she was going to kill it or just not it. French fire didn't do much up there. She did it? Well, let's go out to the barn and get that cleared up. I don't know. Is there anything so strange? Or our taking up our time with little things? Well, we're waiting for them to go out. And I don't see as anything to love about it. Of, of course, they've got awful impurities on their minds. Mrs. Peters, look at this one. Here's the little, the one she was working on. And look, this is Suin. 
Okay. All the rest off. It has been so nice. And even, and look at this. It's all over the place. It look like as if she didn't know what she was about. Oh, what are you doing, Mrs. Harry? Just pulling out the stitch or two. That's not sweet. Very good. Uh, pet swings always made me fidgety. Oh, I don't think we ought to touch things. But I'll just finish up this end, Mrs. Peters. Yes, Mrs. Haley. What do you suppose? She was so nervous about that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know as she was nervous. I sometimes so awful queer when I'm just tired. Um, they may be true sooner that we think. I wonder where I can find a piece of paper and steam. In that cupboard? Maybe? Why is a bit curt here? Did she have a bird, Mrs. Haley? Well, I don't know where she did it or not. I've not been here so long. Uh huh. There was a man around last year selling canaries chip. But I don't know. As it took one, maybe she did. Seems funny to think of a bird here. She must have had one. Or why would she have a cage? I wonder what happened. I suppose maybe the cat cut it. No, she didn't have a cat. She's got that feeling of some people about cats. Being a part of them. My cat got in her room and she was real upset and asked me to take it out. I didn't hear or see anything, so I knocked the door, but it was still quiet inside. Oh, for did freeze. So worried about that when it turns so cold. I had men coming into my kitchen, snooping around and criticizing. To be sure, and yet, I know some addiction can't be harmless that don't have such a 